<laughs> That's pretty cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut and paste this tooth that we're going to replace, right? So what it does is it'll stitch the scan after we prep the tooth and fill it in with what's new. Interesting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the margin of the restoration to basically tell the software where I want it to design the restoration. Yeah. It's kind of like Photoshop, I guess you could say. A little bit. So this is where the software uses the size and shape of your teeth to calculate the new crown restoration and um, designs your final restoration. And then what we can do is change the shape by adding little nuances and making sure that we like all of the um, This part now? So I'm just filling this up with a little bit of putty and that makes it stick on here so that I've got something to work with so I can um, stain and glaze it. So what we've got over here is this is just a clear liquid and this is it's called a crystal glaze so we mix those together and that'll give it just a nice glaze. Here's yellow or sunset is what I add to the um, gum line mm -hmm. or the margin of the tooth because people's teeth are typically a little bit darker towards the gum line. Hmm. So I'm just going to mix some of this together. Were you an art major? Not at all. <laughs> I am not artistic. <laughs> this is just training. close not to get it under 
the margin because then it will affect the way the crown fits around your tooth. And you can get rid of any excess so it doesn't affect your bite. And then so the sunset color, I just add just a little bit down here. And you don't see it much, but when you bake it on, you'll see a subtle transition. Mm. Even though you don't see the tongue side, I'm still going to add it. What gives the overall tooth the shade? The block is an A2 block. So oh. it's got a general shade to it, and then okay. I can just add. Okay. And then I might And the add... baking process <clears throat> then causes it to go from that, it looks like a slight purple. To yeah. The, the coffee stain brown that I otherwise got. Yeah, unfortunately you do a little bit. And I'm going to add, you do have some calcium deposits on the top of the tooth, which is a white deposit. So I'm just going to add some of that to it. see too much, but just a little. No, it's in the back of my mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it goes here mm -hmm. onto our crystallization tray. This is going to open. It's at 550 degrees, so P3 starts. Answer my next question. And it's got 14 minutes. This will slowly close. And it'll go down and then it goes back up to like 600 degrees. Oh. And I'm going to wash this off. If there was another patient mm -hmm. next, I would just keep it because we can reuse it because it's right. sterile. But there's no, no one at this an early day. And it's hot. Yeah, no, very, I'm not sure hot. it is. It clearly is well insulated because yes. um, there's a, a lot of burnables around it. So when does the wood go down? Um, it probably takes about three or four minutes, actually. So mm -hmm. it's a slow process. Is it moving it's down really, now? It's moving down now, and really oh, okay. it's only closed for like seven minutes. Oh. So oh. it opens really slow and closes really slow. And um, then you take it out, we drop it over here, let it cool for a few minutes, and then mm -hmm. we'll cement it in. And that is it. Our in-office crown. So the worst and longest part was the uh, the.